let's get started. Look at this crowd. This is a big crowd. All right, welcome everybody. Is that too loud? That's good. Welcome everyone to the 2022 Varsity Sports Banquet. It uh, is fantastic to see all these people here. This is the biggest crowd we've had in some time. Obviously, we haven't done this in a couple years, so it's great to get everyone back. Um, we've had quite the ride in the past couple of years. Obviously, we could talk for two weeks trying to summarize this. So we're not going to try to summarize it. Tonight's all about honoring the athletes and just celebrating the athletes and everything they've done. Um, recognize, clap it up, give celebrations to each other. That's what it's all about. Um, we still have 12 athletes competing. For those of you who don't know, we have eight people on the track and field team. We go to states this weekend. And we have four members of the tennis team competing in states. Um, I'd like to thank Karen Kelly, our Booster Club president. Obviously, the Booster Club runs this whole night. I want to thank her. You guys have all seen her. She works her butt off all over the place for the kids. So let's give Karen a hand. I don't know if she's in here, but the scariest part of the night is at the end when we're going to give her the microphone. I don't see her. Maybe she's not here. Even better. Um, I want to thank Caroline Kelly for setting up all the food, little Mama Lucia's tonight. That was awesome. And then we're going to get rolling pretty soon. One small recognition I want to, to uh, announce here, not announce, some people know it. Mr. Krause is stepping down from the cross country after 16 years as the varsity cross country coach. That is awesome. Time and energy, Mr. Krause, and forever has changed the name of the sport here at Rockville High School. You guys all know it. It's a Krause country. There it is, Mr. Krause. All for you. All right. Quick uh, logistics. What we're going to do? Each coach is going to come up here and give uh, a couple of awards. Coaches, the awards are right here in order: fall, winter, spring. We're going to have the team pictures up front, and there's a small video between seasons. At the end of the night, we're going to give up the Coach of the Year Award, and we're going to give out the two Model Ram Award winners, which uh, the Bruce Cup votes on and hands out. Auto chat. Okay. Oh, All right. Enough of me. Let's get started. First up, we have Miss James with a cheerleading. So I have a few awards. I wish I could give an award to each and every cheerleader for their dedication and work this year because after being out for two years basically and not being able to do camp and workouts and all that stuff, we, they didn't miss a beat when we came back. So I appreciate that. I also want to thank 
all the parents that supported us and helped with everything without the parents' support. Um, we would have a really hard time getting our athletes to games and practices and things, so you guys make sure you appreciate your parents. They do a lot for you. Okay, so if Bailey and Yasmin... Yeah! Um, so they helped out a lot. Um, they did anything and everything I asked them for, and sometimes even things I didn't ask them for because, you know, I'm getting old and I don't remember that kind of stuff. So they remind me, and it was great. So I appreciate them. I miss them. I will miss them dearly next year. They're both going on to bigger and better things, but I hope they come back and cheer with us at alumni night. is the Spirit Award. Um, this one is really tough to figure out and decide who should really get that because so many of my cheerleaders show great spirit and really um, go all out cheering on whatever sport we are cheering for. Um, but this particular student, she really um, went above and beyond, was always there. Um, was always willing to jump in and help design things. I don't know. Her spirit is just amazing. So, Diana. <laughs> so, she gets our spirit award. Letting me have the privilege of coaching these wonderful students here at Rockville High School, and I hope to be doing it for a little bit longer. Uh, Mr. Krause.
know, Hayes instructed us to keep the presentation to two minutes or under. Maybe he should have given each coach a minute for each year of coaching. In that case, I would have 16 minutes. But I promise to keep my presentation between two and 16 minutes. <laughs> Everyone in this room that participated in this sport has learned things that you would never learn in the classroom. You created lifetime memories. Here's a memory from my high school running days. My teammate, Frank Spino, beat me one time in the half mile in my junior year. Frank was a senior. That was the only time he beat me in the half mile that season. Fortunately for Frank, that moment at the finish line was captured in a photo taken by a Jeanette News Dispatch photographer. Frank kept that picture in his scrapbook. Many years later, when Frank introduced me to his teenage children, he said, this is Carl Krauss. You know, the guy I beat in the half mile? I have a photo in my scrapbook. His children responded with, yeah, we know who you are. I mentioned this story because Frank was there for me in times of need. He was there for me when my brother died. He was there for me when my dad died. Hopefully you have created memories and friendships and sports that will last a lifetime. Enough of storytelling. With Victoria Daza and Sam Young from the stage. Young ladies, 
made it through this whole time, stuck with me, made incredible improvement, showed tremendous leadership skills, and improved so much that they were both named first team all division for Montgomery County.
told you, so uh, I'd like to thank Coach Riggs for always supporting us and Coach Riggs for bestowing the honor that is being a golf coach upon me. Um, I heard about all the success we're having in swimming and tennis, so I figured I'd jump on the uh, country club bandwagon. <laughs> all right. But we're here to talk about these two young gentlemen, Sam Romney and James Wilder, our two seniors. I'm presenting them with the leadership award tonight. Um, you know, golf's not a big spotlight sport around here, but we got a great group of kids, and we have fun every time we go out there and hit the course. So it's an awesome time coaching them, and these two kids are a big reason why. Um, Sam's going to the University of Maryland next year, and James will be going to UCLA. Yeah! Extremely average golfers, but exceptional young men. Coach Kelly and Palms are next.
Victoria. Uh, I knew Benjamin uh, probably from six seasons ago, uh, all the way from Woodwind School. So um, he is an incredible player. He's been very, very, very important for the uh, rock and success in soccer. Uh, when I met him, he was a little kid that he just wanted to shine. And where he did shine. Uh, he played uh, um, with the last uh, couple of seasons and winning the uh, regional championship with the, with the school. But also in club, uh, he's a uh, regional national uh, fi finalist uh, in his club in soccer. Uh, he also is going to play college. He's gone and he's drafted to go for some teams. That's correct, right? So, congratulations. Then the um, interesting, uh, we have, um, I have to mention uh, a few of the seniors that are living. Uh, without them, we would never conquer what we did. If it's okay with the, with the teachers and, and um, parents, uh, I would like to bring the complete seniors if are here from soccer, please come up.
maybe senior. So it'll be a very exciting year next year for the team. This last year was super exciting. I'll tell you, in all the years that I've coached, I learned more from them than they did from me. So uh, this last year was a fantastic experience for me, and I hope they felt the same way. So I have two awards, which is super hard to do when you have an incredible group of student athletes who you care about deeply. And but I had picked two. That's the rule. So I want to call up Caitlin McMahon and Colin Kelly. <laughs>
and I love them all, but I don't have enough money to have them at my wedding, even though they have begged and pleaded and stopped my <laughs> web page the not. You can't come, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but tonight, I would like to recognize two individuals and welcome onto the stage, Jennifer Ma and Andrea Manson. Yeah! member to our team. She was our floor captain by default, but she really was a captain to all of us. She kept our team working together and helped lead our team to victory most of the time as our setter. And to let, tonight, I would like to honor Andrea with the MVP Most Valuable Player Award. I really never thought I would coach varsity, but here I am. You were my captain on JV, and you're also my captain this year. Your leadership is absolutely unparalleled. Which is why I'd like to present you with the coaches award.
Todd Dombrowski, I'm the boys basketball coach. Uh, I do want to congratulate all the athletes tonight okay, for completing a successful season amongst all the sports, all the coaches. Great job. It's an accomplishment. Getting through a varsity season is an accomplishment that every one of you should be proud of. Uh, specifically for our boys basketball team, very proud of them this year. Okay, it's no secret for many of you, we didn't win a lot of games this year. Okay, but that's, that's life. That's the way life goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. How you respond, how you act. Way, way more important than the outcome. Our guys kept showing up every single day trying to improve, and they did improve. They kept their heads held high. They represented the school the right way through the hallways in the community, and I reminded them every day how proud I was of them for that. So, very proud of you. Great job, guys. Many of the coaches, it's always difficult trying to decide which two students we're going to recognize. There's many that could have been recognized, uh, but the two that I decided for our boys basketball team are Matthew Fan and Nate Tech. Second leading scorer, second leading rebounder, got to play a lot, uh, had some great games, a couple games we scored over 20 points, always stayed even keel. If you watched him play out on the court, you wouldn't know if he had 20 points or 2 points. He just kept playing. He just kept playing. Um, he acted the right way, he didn't complain about anything. He was always ready to go. Uh, so Nate the tag suit. Matthew, another senior for us, he did not get to play a lot. Right? And that's hard. That's hard on any team. And I, I've been there on teams that I've played on. It's difficult. It's extremely difficult when your team isn't winning a lot of games. Okay, and Matt kept showing up to practice every single day. He got in some games. He was ready to go when we called his name. He was a great teammate. He was a great player on the team. He did everything we asked him to do, and I know he's very, I'm very proud of him for that, and I know he's very proud of himself. So, Matthew, great job with you. Up <laughs> okay, next is our state semifinalist girls basketball. Not reach that well. <laughs> um, okay. 
and they both won individual regional titles for the first time in 17 years. Top eight in the state, so very good. Uh, very <laughs> That's it for winter sports. Stand. Um, and the way we played down the stretch, 
was just amazing baseball. So you guys should be extremely proud. <laughs> to, to Angel and Sam. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say thank you to you two. I want, to, I want to say thank you to you two. Number one, Angel, for everything you've been through and everything you brought to us this year. Without you, we couldn't have done what we did. <laughs> Sam, thank you for your leadership. It's been four years. You know, we had a couple years there, a few years with golf as well. But thank you for everything you've done, your leadership. I, I, you had an amazing season this year, so never forget that. So thank you two from the bottom of my heart, my two friends. All right, my two owners, Asher and Evan Levens. MVP offensive uh, this year, offensive MVP. Uh, he led our team in so many offensive categories, it wasn't even close. He had a great sophomore season, and I'm looking forward to what he's going to do uh, the next couple years. So, Asher. <laughs> All right, this next one, um, I, I don't know, and, and I'm not going to tell Evan's story. But for what the kid has been through, um, and for him to show up every single day um, after he went through his stuff, and to be there for us was an inspiration to me. And I. I, I, I will never, I will never forget what he's done for our team because when he showed up in the dugout to every game that he could possibly get to, it just uplifted our team. And um, for that, Evan um, gets my inspiration award. Yeah! That's it for me. I believe we are going to yeah. softball. Yeah. Yeah. outside of the classroom. I've had the privilege of teaching a lot of them as my students in English, but getting to see them on the field, you get to see them in a whole new way. Um, and you really get to see them come out of their shells and how they work together is just something that's been such a pleasure. Um, I really appreciate Mr. Hayes and all the other coaches helping me get through this season, but more importantly, thank you to my team because you all were just as encouraging to me as a new coach as hopefully I tried to be to you. Um, so can I have... Uh, Catherine Corbin and Ella yeah! Jensen. Yeah! Well, one of the things that I was most proud of this year was the way that our team was able to grow from the beginning to the end of the season. I think we made a tremendous improvement and just learned how to work together um, so well by the end of our season. And a lot of that growth can be attributed to the leadership on our team, which is why Catherine is um, getting our leadership award. Yeah! Catherine is a four-year varsity player and who this year stepped 
in to play catcher for us, a position I know would not have been her first choice, um, but she did phenomenally in that role. And we really appreciated her energy and her communication to the team while she was out there playing. Um, she's our senior captain, and she's somebody that I have taught every single year that I've been teaching here. So I'm really going to miss her. And then we have Ella, um, who stepped up as a freshman on the team this year to pitch in nearly every single game that to help a teammate uh, to improve their skills. She has a genuine love of the game. I can remember on the third day of tryouts just telling her, I don't think I've seen you stop smiling since you knew tryouts started, and I don't think I've seen her stop smiling since. Um, she set a personal goal of getting 125 strikeouts this season, and she surpassed that. I think we ended up at 134. Yeah. this season, including one Grand Slam, and she's our MVP.
court and <laughs> throw me down. Again, I want to thank all the parents for helping out this year, the team dinners and stuff. Um, all the seniors for helping drive the practices. Uh, our managers for being at every game, keeping score and stuff. It was a lot of help. So, um, our first award is going to be uh, for Gabby. It's the coach's award. This was Gabby's first year playing lacrosse. Um, she came right in from after basketball season. She worked extremely hard picking up the game very quickly. Um, she didn't see a lot of playing time in the first three games. Then after some injuries went down, Gabby ended up being a starter for us. And by her third game, she was guarding the uh, best player on the other team every game for us. <laughs> Gabby ended the season with uh, 35 ground balls and 33 calls turnovers. She was a big part of our defense this year, and we're going to miss her next year. And Gabby will also be playing in the senior all-star game tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. um, next award is our MVP. Kaylin was a four-year starter for us. Last year she was uh, first team all division in all county. We ended up losing 85% of our scoring last season, so she ended up making the change. She ended up playing midfield this year. She led her team in draw controls with 75, 36 goals, 27 assists, 65 ground balls, and 47 cross turnovers. She was named first team all division midfielder this season, and uh, hopefully she was up for a couple awards next week too with the All County and All Mets, like who's coming out. Kayla was a big part for our team these past two years. She helped us get back to back-to-back uh, -back regional championships. So we're going to miss her leadership on the field and every day of practice working hard. So Kayla Mann, MVP. championships, a lot of team championships, um, and a lot of great coaches. I learned so much from many of the coaches here. Uh, but I want to recognize one individual who's been, become a good friend of mine, become a mentor of mine. He's been coaching here 23 or 24 years, uh, had a lot of good, very good teams. And just this year, uh, with the baseball team, he won the first regional championship in 24 years. Here. Getting on back on topic with the boys' tennis team. Um, we had a good season, very good season. A lot of great kids on the team, a lot of talented players. We had both our boys' and girls' tennis teams have two members competing tomorrow in the state quarterfinals. So we're very excited about that. They're at, they'll be doing a good job representing our school. Uh, tomorrow, the two individuals I want to recognize for boys tennis are Gabe Santiago and Nick Vasquez. Gabe 
against our best player. Every match he goes up against the opposing team's best player. Um, he had a good record this year. He won some, he lost some, uh, and he, he never complained. It's a tough thing to go up against another team's best player. I remember he played one match in particular he played against. His opponent was incredible. And Gabe's always smiling. He's always, you know, win or lose, he comes off. He's happy. He's proud of his effort. And, you know, tennis is a unique sport because you got eight different, sometimes eight different matches going on at once. And so as a coach, you can't sit there and watch everyone. Sometimes you're not even sure what the score is. So you always go up to them and you ask them, you know, how'd you do? What was your score? And in this particular match, Gabe did not win, uh, but he came up to me and said, well, coach, I won 10 points this match. 10 points. So he's very happy with this. 10 points. All right. Uh, Gabe, Gabe is a tremendous player. We're very excited to see him compete with his brother tomorrow. Um, Gabe also took it upon himself to help some of the less experienced players on our team at practice. He'd go over and he would help them. I didn't ask him. In fact, he came up and asked me once if that was okay. I said, yeah, absolutely, Gabe. Go help him out. All right, so great player, great team. Gabe, uh, this next individual, Nick, uh, is his second year playing on the team. Nick, last year, didn't get to play in a lot of the matches. He was a new first-year player. Uh, he was always at practice. He was always asking questions, working hard to get better. This year, he was one of, if not the most improved players on our team. He stepped in to play our second doubles, and he got a couple wins. He scored a lot of points, and he did a great job. So, Nick, great job. Nick, you All right, that's boys tennis. Now, for girls tennis, I'm gonna stay up here because their coach, Coach Stolman, was unable to make it today, so he gave me a few notes to, to uh, acknowledge. He is very proud of the team. Last year, the girls tennis team had three members on their team. This year, as you can see, quite a few more than three. 21 members of their team, so he's very proud of that. Proud of the girls for stepping up to play. A lot of them first year players, but taking a chance, taking a risk, and playing a new sport. So hopefully it was a good experience for you. I'm sure it was. Uh, tomorrow, the two doubles teammates, Layla and Madison Watts, they will be competing tomorrow for the girls doubles state quarterfinals. So we're excited to see how they do. The two members that he has Selected to win awards, Sarah Nyland and Layla Watts. Sarah is receiving the coach's award uh, for having the most positive attitude on the team. Congratulations, Sarah. And Layla is receiving the MVP award for being the number one singles player three years in a row. Congratulations, ladies. Up next.
aggressive the first time I was up here. I'll try to work on my microphone still. Time for my other favorite sport here at Rockville, co-ed volleyball. Jennifer Ma and Eli Turner. So, Cohen Volleyball traditionally, recently has been one of our strong teams here, and we did not disappoint this year. We finished with a record of 83, 9 4, including the playoffs. very hard to determine who should get an award on a team full of great players. Uh, so you all know volleyball is kind of based on, it's a sport based on height. So I decided to pick the tallest and the shortest. That's not what it says on their award. It just happens to be that way. Uh, first of all, our coach's award to our team captain, She's been really our team captain for four years, uh, but officially this year, one of the best team captains has come through here, one of the best ones I've ever worked with, Jennifer Ma. And now for a young man who, I'm not a big stats guy, the rest of the coaches could probably tell you that, but I can tell you officially, he is already in the top 10 best boys volleyball players in Rockville High School history. Not just this year, as a sophomore. He's one of the top players in the county in boys. Sorry, I'm getting aggressive. He's, it's just exciting. He's one of the best players in the county in volleyball. Uh, and one of the top two to three in co ed volleyball in the entire county this year. We're expecting Thank you. I'm going to turn it back over to Miss O to our slideshow. Yeah. Right. Yeah.
thank you guys so much. Coaches, as you know, I thank you so much. We all work together. There's a few of us coaches have been here for a long time, and I think it's the community atmosphere we have here. It's, it's, it's just wonderful. So a couple more uh, things we're going to do here. First off, we do the Rockwell High School Coach of the Year work. This is a pretty big honor because the coaches vote on it for each other. So these votes are coming from coaches to the other coaches. Uh, this year's recipient. Pretty, it's pretty special to see this. This, uh, this guy's come a long way. I'm very proud of him. Wilma! recipients that we'll receive tonight. Yep. Uh, the name will also go on a banner in the gym. It's on our website. And uh, just looking back here, it's a pretty it's probably the most prestigious honor for a student athlete here at Rockville High School. So Booster Club puts together a big committee of people. There's a rubric, the kids do a bunch of stuff and then ultimately have two winners. So Ms. Kelly's gonna talk and give up two winners. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. Um, first I want to say that it was not just Karen Kelly that did the banquet tonight. It was Caroline Kelly and Aaron Kelly. Not my Coach Karen Kelly. So thank them very much for the um, lovely talk to say this And then I'm going to look at the nominees over here. Like, you guys really, truly represent the best of Rockville High School. You are an amazing group of people, athletes, what you've gone through in the last couple of years. You displayed great sportsmanship and leadership on the field. It was not always easy. I very much enjoyed watching you, whether it was with a mask on or when I had to watch you on the screen because we couldn't come to your games. You guys still brought it every week, every game, every match. It's not that much fun to play when no one's there to cheer you on. You can't feed off the crowd. But really, we were behind you all the time, and you should be very proud of yourselves for sticking with it through all of that. It is not a normal college career that you guys have had, virtual, no fans. Very impressive, guys. Not only that, you excelled academically and in what you did for the community during that time. It is really something you and your parents should be proud of. The entire Booster community is as well. So we're very excited for you. We look forward to what you're doing in the future. And remember, once a ram, you're always a ram. Please come back and see your friends and cheer them on. Um, with that said, I want to thank a couple people who made the Booster Club work this year. The board, Anna Path, Lori Holland, Sally Brogan, Alan Barney. We couldn't do it without you. Um, lots of goals going forward. If you're continuing at Rockville, we would love to have you join the Booster Club and get involved with events like this. 
Um, that said, I'm going to go ahead and present the Model Graham Award. God, there's a lot of people up here. Um, these individuals were nominated by their coaches and then the supporters of the Booster Club voted on them. So without further ado, and yes, I do have the checks. Yes? Elizabeth Defonso. And that concludes the program this evening. Thanks, guys.